Hey sports fans, we're back and today we're going to take a look at the greatest football players to ever come out of the University of Georgia. We all know how storied the Georgia Bulldogs are as they've been an NFL star building factory for years. But who are the best of the best to ever wear the black and red? Let's find out. But first, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, do me a favor and click that subscribe button. All done? Alright, let's do this. Kicking off our list is a running back who needs no introduction to Georgia Bulldog faithful in running back Todd Gurley. To understand how good Gurley's freshman season was, you need to take into account that the nearly 1,400 yards rushing and 17 rushing touchdowns happened with him starting the season as a backup. While it did only take Todd all of one game to supplant redshirt Ken Malcolm as the starter after Gurley rushed for 100 yards on just 8 carries and also chipped in with a 100 yard kick return, coaches quickly realized Todd was the guy that gave them their best chance of winning and scaled up his play count. After seizing the backfield, Gurley set his sights on ripping apart the SEC. Whether it was a rival game or a game against a defensive bent on stopping Todd, it really didn't matter. Averaging over 100 yards a game, Todd led the Bulldogs all the way to the SEC championship against Alabama. Even in defeat, Gurley shined. In a game where experts said the Bama defense would bottle up Todd, Gurley still managed 122 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. In the subsequent Capital One Bowl against Nebraska, Gurley topped the 100-yard mark again. Todd was one of the two freshman running backs to top the 1,000-yard mark in school history and was the only one of two freshmen in SEC history to be named first-team All-SEC. Todd was the toast of Bulldog Nation after his freshman campaign, and although his sophomore campaign wouldn't be as impressive due to Todd only appearing in 10 games, it was still clear that Gurley was hands down the best running running back in college football. His third and final season would be marred by an indefinite suspension over $3,000 he received for signing autographs and memorabilia. Todd would eventually return only to suffer a season-ending knee injury. In just six games, Todd rushed for an incredible 911 yards and nine scores on 7.4 yards per carry, leaving many to wonder what Todd would have done to the record books had he appeared in all of Georgia's games. Although Todd's season ended on a down note, what he had done in three years was enough to earn him the praise as one of the best Georgia players to ever put on a Bulldog uniform and only the second running back in school history to be selected as a top 10 pick in the NFL Draft. A.J. Green verbally committed to Georgia during his junior year of high school. A phenomenal high school whiteout that many said with the right coaching and situation could become one of the best receivers to ever play the game. A hard worker with an athletic frame to build on, Green arrived at Georgia in 2008 with all the promise he'd hoped for in a top commit. During AJ's true freshman season, the 6'4 wideout didn't disappoint. Although not the go-to receiver during his first year, Green's 56 catches for 963 yards and 8 touchdowns were all Georgia freshman school records. His receiving yards total was the third highest in UGA history. As a sophomore and now the top dog on the wide receiving pecking order, Green dominated defenses to the point where he was receiving the type of attention given to the best college wideouts in all of the land. When sticking the best guy on him didn't work, they would give Green double coverage. When double coverage didn't work, sometimes teams would even roll a third guy Green's way to keep him from going off. Based on the way his sophomore campaign went, it's safe to say that none of it worked and in an injury-shortened season, Green still led the Bulldogs in receiving yards. After being recognized as an All-SEC First Team wideout, Green entered his third season as arguably the best wide receiver in all of college football. Fast enough to run past you, strong enough to beat DBs at the line of scrimmage, and had the leaping ability to sky over defenders. There wasn't much that could slow down Green. Besides, as it turns out, AJ himself, who was suspended for the first four games for selling memorabilia. Upon returning from suspension, AJ put together his most dominant season, averaging over 94 yards per contest and a touchdown per contest. Green went on to be the fourth pick in the draft and the highest selected Georgia receiver ever with the fourth pick by the Cincinnati Bengals. Nick Chubb is a running back who was given his opportunity after another star on the list was suspended. As a true freshman, Chubb was a man among boys, and we mean this statistically and physically. If you've ever seen the track photos of Nick Chubb running against other high schoolers and looking like he was about 5 years older and about 50 pounds of muscle heavier, then you'd know Nick Chubb was just built differently. His true freshman season is a testament to that as Chubb gained a ridiculous 1,547 rushing yards on 7.1 yards per carry with 14 touchdowns. As a freshman, in just 8 games, his yardage total was good enough to finish second in the SEC, which is college's equivalent to being as pro-ready as a conference comes and Chubb still shined in a year most college players don't break out. But breakout he did, and after breaking the rushing record at this year's Belk Bowl, there wasn't a college football sports enthusiast that didn't know the name Nick Chubb. Chubb carried his success into year two, averaging an astounding 8.1 yards per carry. 
Chubb managed to tie Herschel Walker's streak of 13 consecutive 100-yard games after running wild against Alabama. However, the next game he suffered what was considered a grotesque knee injury and was forced to miss the remainder of the season. Chubb battled back from injury and strung together a very solid junior and senior seasons while allegedly still being hampered by his knee, which was still healing and he was still learning to trust. On a knee that he didn't consider 100%, Chubb managed to climb to number two all-time on Georgia's rushing list, as well as the SEC's all-time list. Chubb's college career ended on a down note after being bottled up by Alabama in the national championship, in which Georgia lost, but what Chubb meant to the Bulldogs was not lost on his fans as he was regarded as one of the best to ever wear a Bulldog jersey. When Champ Bailey first arrived at Georgia, coaches and players alike were saying that he was special pretty much from the word go. Champ was recruited to play cornerback, but after seeing how effective Bailey was with the ball in his hands, coaches schemed ways to get their slash player on the field as much as possible. Keep in mind, Champ was one of those cornerbacks who was able to shut down his side of the field and virtually erase a team's top wide receiver. So when Champ got his chance to play offense in year two, there were times when he'd pick off a pass and then catch a pass on the very next drive. During his all-SEC first team selection as a sophomore, he started every game at corner and even started one game at wide receiver, or was worked into the gameplay early on, so this scenario happened quite often. Or imagine this scenario. Champ helps Georgia shut down your team and then you have to watch your team kick to him and see him in his track and field speed weave through your special teams. While Champ's first two seasons at Georgia were impressive, it was his third year that placed him on the all-time category for Georgia greats after he accounted for 52 tackles, 3 interceptions, 7 passes deflected, 47 catches for 744 yards, averaging 15.8 yards per reception along with 5 touchdowns. He also chipped in with 84 rush yards and averaged 103.5 all-purpose yards per game, while being the team's top defensive player. There are many that say Champ Bailey should have won the Heisman for all the ridiculous stats I just listed, which were similar to the Heisman winner Charles Woodson's numbers from the previous season, but although Bailey may have been snubbed for the Heisman, he was still awarded the Bronco Nagurski Award as the nation's best defensive player. When you say the name Herschel Walker to anyone who knows a thing about college football, it's almost like you're speaking about a myth. A running back bigger than most people chasing him, built like a Greek god who possessed track star speed and supreme vision to follow blocks and set up tacklers to fail. During his freshman year at Georgia, coaches were bubbling about Walker long before he showed up to Georgia's facilities as he was the most coveted prospect in the nation. When he would hit the playing field, Walker looked nothing like a freshman running back and more like someone who was too good to be playing at the collegiate level. His 1,616 yards were a freshman NCAA record which wasn't broken for almost three decades. To give you an idea of how good Walker was during his freshman year, people who were above Walker in the pecking order early on in his field told coaches to give Walker the ball. Give Walker the ball they did and Herschel spent the next two seasons terrorizing defenses in big games and in ways that didn't make him seem human. Whether it was rushing for 150 yards on a separated shoulder, or eviscerating a top-rushing defense that spent the game stacking the box, Georgia's offense ran through the 222-pound Herschel and everyone knew it and still couldn't slow him down. He won a national title in his first season and carried the team to a perfect record and spent the remainder of his college career keeping Georgia in the national title hunt while putting together the best college career by a running back ever. Walker won the Heisman in 1982 and is the only person in college football history to finish top three in the Heisman three times. As the first true freshman to become an All-American, Walker was simply sprinting to the record books from the moment he arrived at Georgia and his accomplishments were so legendary that they lifted him to being regarded as arguably the best college football player ever. Oh yeah, like any true mythical figure, Walker did it all without lifting any weights, rather just thousands of push-ups and sit-ups a day. Alright sports fans, that's it for our time on Georgia football and the best football players to ever wear a Bulldogs jersey. Let us know what you think about this list by dropping a comment, and as always, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that bell while you're at it to get notified whenever we drop a new video. Until next time, sports fans.